spell you. American figure skater Ilya Malinin said that he needs to work on a second assessment. Malinin won bronze at the World Championships with Satama. He landed two quadruple jumps in the short program and six in the free program, including a 4 4 and a half rotation axle. I am glad that today I got everything I was preparing for. I have been working very, very hard for the last two weeks. Well, it was a wonderful World Cup, thanks to everyone and the opponents in the first place. At this World Cup, I learned a few things for myself. Firstly, it is not so important how the training goes. The perfect workout doesn't mean anything. And falling on them is not fatal. Of course, it's nice when everything works out, but the most important thing is how you feel right before going on the ice in competitions. Second, it's not always worth the risk. Sometimes the risk is not worth taking. Sometimes it's smarter not to play big, but to bet on clean skates with less content. Yes, I am proud of the points I got today for the quad axle thanks to the judges, it means a lot to me. But yes, in hindsight, maybe all that risk was not worth it. And obviously I have to work on the second estimate. The problem is that after difficult jumps it's not very easy to immediately switch to working with the viewer. Yes, I love to jump, but next year I want to focus on the second assessment, on working with the audience. I'm happy with how it all went. Many thanks to everyone involved in this tournament for the fact that the World Cup took place. My content in the free program is a big risk, it is always very difficult to go for it. Sometimes this is justified, but sometimes it is worth reducing the risk and focusing on the cleanliness of the rental. I think that next season it will be useful to bet a little more on this cleanliness. With so many quad jumps, controlling the second mark is more difficult. Some fans like jumping, but next season I will work to ensure that all spectators enjoy my skating," said Malinin. In Kiss and Cray, Malinina breaks through the noise of the stands. They were a little undercooked. Maybe. Maybe. With their points, the judges very straightforwardly show Ilya that he is not Chen, who, closer to the end of his career, began to receive components of the level, and sometimes even higher than Hanyu and they are not ready to put up with some imbalance in his programs. Although they could. What is 80 in the second assessment? In Russia there were 88 Samran and 86 Jin in his best years. Malinin's problem now is that his content, which is actually somewhere close to the possible maximum for men, has ceased to produce the wow effect that he deserves. Before the quadruple axle, the sound of a drum roll no longer asks from a deadly number, it has been modified into just an entertaining attraction. Not the most profitable, moreover, according to the current rules. Ilya, his easiest element, triple lots in axle sequence, is more expensive than Brown's most difficult, also a sequence, but with a double axle instead of a lots, won over Jason in the free program by a little more than two points, and Kevin, win quadruple and two triples, almost lost. I wonder if Trusova saw this denouement before her Olympics, would she take risks with the same content? Ilya has two options now. Either continue to bend the line with quads, trying to reduce the number of claims for spins to a minimum, which means laying 15-20 points of loss in components to opponents, or sacrifice some of the complexity in favor of pumping the second mark. It is curious what will win Malinin's maximalism or Virginian's rationality.